welcome back everyone so as you know in the previous video we did some small tweaks into our app we actually uh, made this beautiful colorful card which is an external model that we installed and these uh, data right here are uh, dynamic so each store has its own uh, data and we also added this this button back button and for example when the user enters into the map there is the activity indicator and it will be it will disappear once we have the route directions data okay so yeah so I said why I don't make a small icon here in the uh, destination point instead of nothing because here as you can see we have nothing and it's really hard to tell which is the destination point okay so let's start so the first thing we need to do is to import ionic icons ionicons yeah ionicons not ionic icons so let's say ionicons from react native vector icons slash and normally we'll be having ionicons good we need to define here the state of our destination chords so for that let's put it here let's say u state okay so let's say uh, maybe a destination uh chords okay let's make this so here it should be uh i don't know uh, okay let's do this and it's an array of number since uh, it will contain a list of coordinates okay and also let's not forget to initialize our uh, our values here I will put my current uh, my current uh, geolocation or my cor current coordinates so it will be uh, and also let's do 50 and 72724 good so here we defined our destination chords so what's next should come here and where we are getting our data okay let's move here and yeah maybe here it's better so okay here exactly so what can we do here so it will be so simple I will write the code and then I will explain everything so so don't worry about it so let's say uh, let destination coordinates equals JSON routes zero geometry coordinates good and then slice minus one slice minus one of zero okay and then after this line we call our set destination chords and we will pass the destination coordinates here okay, let's remove this good so what else we need to do so here we have already our destination coordinates so what can we do with it so it's simple we go here after let's say um, uh, trying to see uh, okay after the shape source maybe here yeah before the uh, user location so here we will do we will type destination chords 
reports. Here we we'll initialize our point annotation. So if we have destination chords, if it's available, we do my, my box GL point annotation is uh, as you know is our marker it is called point annotation and of course it is a self-closing tag or not, not self-closing tag okay so what we will be putting right here so before we continue let's define some props to this point annotation so we will give it an ID of let's say destination point okay so this ID uh, variable is very important so if you ignore it you will be facing some issues okay so coordinate let's give it destination chords okay and then Inside this point annotation, we will define a view, okay, and we will give it a bit of styling, okay. So styles dot. Let's name it. Uh, since we will be having an icon, so okay, let's put here destination icon, okay. And inside of this, I will define my Ionicons icon. So Ionic Icons, icons. Okay, name. Let's. Uh, I think there is a store front. If I, if I remember, if I correctly remember. Okay, we'll give it also twenty four, and let's say the color will be uh, something orange, since we will be having like uh, a dark map. So, if you if you are working with uh, street maps or outdoor maps, which is lighter, so you need something which is darker, maybe of a black color or marine or royal blue, something like that, okay, or green. Okay. So what else? So that's all. Okay. So let's not forget to close our Ionicons tab. Okay. So. What else? Yeah, exactly. We forgot. So this is a real issue with uh, this VS Code lagging. I don't know. It's really a burden. Okay, so let's put it here. Let's give it a width of thirty. Okay, and height of let's say thirty. Uh, justify content. Let's give it a center and align items also center okay so let's check it again perfect okay so let's refresh our app and now the moment of truth so it's loading we have the icon it will be loading in the coordinates that we uh, put it in the view state and here it is so now I will explain so since it appeared there because I just initialized these two variables so it's normal it will be there then it will change the state so yeah it will move to another coordinates or uh, location okay so let's go back to this part which is the part that I told you that I will be explaining okay so JSON this line here JSON routes 0 geometry coordinates dot slice minus 1 0 okay so let's start with this part right here coordinates okay so the API actually contains an array of coordinates and representing the entire route so here we are accessing the ge geometry property of the first index zero of the first route returned by the API okay so and it actually contains uh, the route the route geometry which are the coordinates okay and this part point slice one okay so the slice method 
is used to extract a portion of the array so normally you know it so in this case we are using slice minus one to get the last element which is destination point of the coordinates array okay and this zero right here since the slice uh, method returns a new array with a single element and you are using the zero to accept that single coordinate from, from the new array okay simple as that so literally uh, the destination coordinates will hold the uh, longitude and longitude, uh, latitude of the destination point of the route and this is later used to display the destination point on the map using the point annotation component which, which is here okay so yeah it's simple so here it is we have our destination point our destination icon and if we zoom in we'll have clearer look perfect so yeah as i said doesn't matter about this uh, black color it uh, it's uh, it also uh, it always happens when we are running in uh, an emulator but if you run uh, your project on a real device it won't happen so yeah so yeah it's uh, everything for this video i hope you learned something new and uh, yeah we are getting close to our finishing line and i hope we deliver something uh, much more beautiful and something uh, unique that you can't find on any other tutorials on youtube so thank you for following me and thank you for watching the video bye